this agenda item that I did speak to several folks and uh, and officials in Lindale and Winona and all that and none of them want it so this commissioner will never agree to deploy a camera any camera any amount in any school zone in my precinct thank you commissioner and I, I kind of agree I, I, I respectfully disagree judge we did not have the public uh, discussion we should have I've got the same question whether the fire marshal is even legal to do this our tax collector says I don't even know if he's on board for collecting it and I've heard the outcry from my constituents and I'm I'm totally against this. Thank you, Commissioner. Judge Baker, I, I appreciate the uh, outreach we've had. I appreciate the citizens coming. We learned a lot through this issue, or I have personally on our procedure. I think you'll see some changes in our procedure in our agenda language. Things would be beneficial to the citizens. Um, I'm one of those people that have schools out in the county that has limited protection. And of course, as you know, the, the state did allow it, at least at this time, to continue out in counties. What some people don't realize is there's a lot of school districts that don't have municipality protection. They don't have police protections, particularly out west. You may have a lot of independent school districts that have none. And so I would assume that's the reason they left that. But I would agree with the, the issues that we have internally, not a consensus. And our contract required, and that's kind of been missed, by mutual consent with us and the company on locations. And so I would agree at this time that we just don't have any uh, agreed locations out in our county. We don't have the support of of our school districts haven't come forward, our cities, and um, you know our, our law enforcement hopefully will step up and everybody drives safe in the school zones and it'll resolve it itself. So. And I have just the opposite problem because most of my schools are located in the city. So whatever the city of Tyler decides kind of falls back with my decisions and the way that things are supposed to be done. But bear in mind, it's always important to make sure that we protect our children and we make sure that the people that are driving in those areas or driving at a safe speed, and we can take care of that, I believe, with the police officers we have. Thank you, Commissioner. Yeah. Well, you know, we started this with an introduction to uh, local municipalities and school districts. We rolled out the idea, the program, the fact that the county had already engaged in, in a contract with this company. But the contract calls for certain things to be, deter to, to be determined. There were things left to be done, um, and that was to, for us, to engage the community, talk to the school districts, talk, talk to the municipalities, and obviously you know what's happened since all that uh, throughout the month of May. Um, so a part of that process was for us to determine appropriate locations where we, we believed that uh, the camera systems would be a benefit to public safety. So we reached out to school districts again last week um, because I wanted there to be some formal record uh, that we asked them and what, whatever we received is what we received. And so far we've received um, two emails from school districts that suggest that they feel like they have it covered with local law enforcement and they do not feel that it's appropriate for, their, uh, for deployment of camera systems at this time. Um, so we have a valid contract. Uh, we have no uh, locations that we've determined would be appropriate within the county. Um, and that contract does call for there to be a uh, mutual agreement. Um, first, we determine appropriate locations or where we believe appropriate locations are. Then the company would come out and analyze those locations um, to determine traffic patterns, uh, to determine if the geometry, it even says that in the con uh, contract, that the geometry would work for the camera systems because it has to have the right angles and can't be too wide uh, of a road for them to actually pick up certain uh, vehicles. You know, you have to be able to I don't know how it all works, but to be able to reach out all the way across certain roads, they may be too wide. Um, so that's where we are. Um, it's a holding pattern. Uh, until I anticipate that until we receive positive uh, information from a school district, that we would not look at a location and we would not determine that those that any locations would be appropriate. And so, in the meantime, should you not receive that? There are no financial penalties for, for not moving? There's no timeline. There's no deadline. Uh, the contract does not call for a timeline uh, for the deployment. It, in fact, says that we will discuss and determine that timeline. And so the timeline is we're in a holding pattern. Um, well, it's, I think that's the same thing. It's suspended until, until there is um, some positive... Um, I guess some positive action on the part of the commissioner's court, which would be based on... Uh, the community's desire to have them implemented somewhere the in the county. Not 
it is not voided.